It is Friday's Peeps. I just got back from going to the dollar store with my mom. I don't like the dollar store. Our dollar store especially is really spanky. So I don't like being seen in there. And I don't like how they have one cashier who's 700 years old. And there's a line like 25 people long and they don't do anything about it. But the good part about going to the dollar store is all of the hilarious crap that you can find. And I found some hilarious crap. So I'm going to share it with you. It is, today is the 29th of August, and we are about to move into my favorite time of the year, which is fall, mostly because my birthday's in the fall, mostly also because it gets cool, and I don't like the hot weather, and it starts to get where it's a little bit cold, a little bit hot, and you get a little bit of both. Fall also means Halloween, and Halloween's my favorite holiday, my favorite time of year. And especially because of all the crap you can find. So, of course, the first thing I did was look for vampire stuff. And I found some vampire fangs that I think I'm going to use in my next True Blood video. But I don't know how you talk in them. So, I'm going to put these on and you can see how hilarious they are. So, don't look. What? I mean, you talk and they fall out. But they are pretty. I mean, they're long. But you always look like you're stupid, like, mm -hmm. I mean, look, I don't understand in, so I guess they're not really meant for, like, serious business vampires, so, yeah, fail, not good. They are long and pretty, though, so, yeah, and then, of course, we have these perennial favorites, um, because I, I know my vampire, that was my douche life impression. I do swipe impression, but see, they don't make these for adults either. They're really small, and they don't really fit, but they're still fun, so yeah. Um, the Cider Dollar Store is this store that's called Everything a Dollar, and it's even more hilarious crap than the Dollar Store, and while I was there, I found this mask, and I have to show you, so don't look. I'm going to put it on and come back, so don't go away. What? What is this? It's supposed to be a vampire. Okay, I have it lined up with the nose and the eye holes. These are supposed to be fangs, and they look like alien tentacles. I don't, I don't even know what this thing is. It's not even bad enough to be funny. It's just very sad. So, fail again. But I had to buy it because it was so funny looking. Um, yeah. Not cute. Also found this. Um... It's supposed to be an owl, I think, but if you look at it, it has fairy wings. Fairy wings on an owl. I don't know, but it's a dollar. It has googly eyes, so I had to have it. Um, also got this guy. He's a shelf sitter. He's a little vampire shelf sitter. He has really cute little things, but I don't know why he's holding stars. Like, it doesn't really make any sense, but it's not supposed to. It was a dollar, but still, yay. Little self sitter vampire. Um, we got these at the Rite Aid. Ghost dots. I don't know about you, but I love dots. Love them. And these ones are like, if you can see that, they're like green. And they don't have to tell you what flavor they are. They're spooky. But that means you can get the ghost ones. And I don't like the yellow and the green. So, I don't know. Let's try. I don't even know what that is. Whatever. Um... I also found these hilarious things called Fright Bites that I'm going to open. They probably sound really loud. And they look like little weird vampire fangs, kind of like Rocky Horror Mouth meets vampire fangs. And I just thought they were really hilarious because they have, like, blood on them. And we're going to try these, too. I don't know if, what they are. Uh, it says, a bite never tasted so good. Ooh, let's see. They're good. Or, oh, look, they're even, like, white chocolate so that it, like, looks like tooth. I don't know how good you can see that. Hi. Let's eat them. Oh, no. That's not good. But, I have found something even more hilarious that's going to taste even worse. I can already tell you. And that is the Twilight New Moon 
chocolate. Can you see that? It's called Heart's Desire. Cream filled milk chocolate heart. And there's Bella and Edward and Jacob. And I saw these. They were two for a dollar. And I actually spent money on something to do with Twilight. Ah! But come on. How cheese tactic is this? I mean, oh. So I had to buy them all. And this Edward is really hilarious. I wish that he sparkled. But he doesn't. And I'm afraid to open this because I can just imagine what it's going to look like. But let's open up the Bella since I think she's hideous. We'll open up her. Let's see what these hilarious Twilight candies look like. And, oh, oh my god. So, I don't know if you can see this, but it's got two chocolate hearts. And the one on the top says Bella. And the one on the bottom has the Cullen Crest. And I don't even know what to say about this. This is so bad. And it's written in the Twilight font. Let's take a bite and see how Bella tastes. Like Freesia? I don't think so. Ooh. It tastes like evil. Like evil and the pits of hell and... I'm slowly getting more stupid as I eat this. Just like when you read the books. Mmm. That's gross. Yeah, so don't buy those. Heart's Desire, no. Um, I kind of want to open the other ones to see what they look like, but I'm sure it'll be just as hilarious. Um, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to save those for another project. Anyway, that was my shopping day. Um, I really went in there because I have this lifelong dream, and that dream is I want to find a statue, like a little like resin statue of a frog wearing a raincoat, and I've been searching for this for like three years. I cannot find one, so if anybody out there happens upon a statue of a frog wearing a raincoat, please buy it and send it to me. I will pay you back because I desperately want that, and in my search for that, I end up with crap like this. I mean... I just bought a candy bar with this kid's face on it. I bought an R-packed candy bar because I couldn't deny myself once I saw them in my quest for the frog with the raincoat. Why, you ask? Because it's just hilarious to think of a frog wearing a raincoat. If he's holding an umbrella, that's even better. So, yeah, that was my shopping day, and I will be back on Sunday, Monday probably, with my True Blood video. Um, we're not going to have too many more, so i got to find other things to make a vlog about. And apparently shopping at the dollar store is good for that. So I will see you next time. And don't buy the Twilight candy.